hello this is Andrea and today is Thursday the 22nd of September 2022. So either today or tomorrow is the autumn equinox so happy autumn equinox and it's been it's been really dark outside here lately in southeastern Pennsylvania we've been having rainstorms lately so and as I usually use the natural light for my lighting for videos, it's been a little difficult. But we, it's still dark out. It's not as dark, but here we go. So I went to the post office. Oops, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And I picked up some stamps. They had these stamps that it says pony cars. I used one already. But there's five different cars, so see them? Five different, yeah, five different cars. So it says, oh my goodness. It says 1969 Ford Boss, Ford Mustang Boss 302. 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. 1969 Chevy Camaro Z28. That's one of my faves. Uh, 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7 GT. And last but not least, 1969 AMC Javelin SST. So that's them all right in a row down there. And I think the stamps are 60 cents now for first class. So I was looking for, they're supposed to be, my friend was telling me they're supposed to be Charlie Brown stamps coming out. You know, the Peanuts, Peanuts gang, but they said it's not out yet. So I have to go back. And uh, yeah. So. Bob and I did watch a movie this past week. We watched a movie called Prey, P-R-E-Y, and it is one of the Predator movies. It's the newest Predator movie, but it's set, um, well, I don't remember if it was the 1800s. I think it was around the 1800s, and there's a um, Native American tribe that's... Um, encounters the predator and they're battling with the predator anyway it's got all the same kind of stuff like with the fighting and different <laughs> different listen if you don't like gore or anything you don't want to see this <laughs> but it was pretty good if you like predator movies so it was interesting because our youngest son watched it with us and he's never seen any of the predator movies so i wonder what it's going to be like what it's going to be like for him seeing that one first and then seeing the other ones so <sighs> have you seen any new movies or tv shows lately there's some tv shows coming out that i'm interested in like the one called wednesday it's about wednesday adams and there was something else too i don't remember oh well maybe it'll come to me but guess what I found? <laughs> or I should say Bob found it. He's he's um, rearranging his hobby, computer hobby stuff. And he found in his, one of his boxes, he found a notebook of mine. And it had my bucket list in it from, I think this is from 2017. <laughs> so do you want to hear my bucket list? I haven't done anything on this list. So number one is have a book published. Number two, travel to England. Number three, be in a bar fight. I don't know if I can even do that anymore. Number four, travel to the Grand Canyon. Five, visit New Orleans. New Orleans. Six, tour an aircraft carrier. So I've been on two battleships of the same class. I can't remember the name of the class. It's called Missouri class. Anyway, I've been on two battleships and one submarine. 
and I'd like to be on a tour. I would like to tour an aircraft carrier. I don't know if they do tours for them, to tell you the truth, but I want to see. I want to see the deck that goes up and down. I want to see all that stuff. Number seven, travel across country. I really don't know what I meant by that, unless I meant get in a car and just go across the whole country. Number eight, drive a tractor trailer. I don't think I can do that. Number nine, own a handcrafted watch. I love I love watches. I love everything that has clockwork in it. Like I'm talking about things that don't use batteries. <laughs> Ten, travel overnight in a sleep sleeper car in a, on a train. Number eleven, meet my grandchild slash hold my grandchild. I don't have any grandchildren yet. So. Number twelve, travel to Gatlinburg. Number thirteen, visit Window Rock. There's a lot of traveling here. Number fourteen, go to Las Vegas. Number fifteen, eat a century egg. I don't know if I still want to do that. So if you don't know what a century egg is, it's a Japanese, it's a Japanese delicacy that usually they serve at very special occasions. And it used to be, I think they would hard boil the eggs and then they would bury them for a hundred years and then dig them up. But they now they have a process to make them ferment the same way. Anyway, I don't know if I still want to eat that. Number 16, dive in a submarine. <laughs> Number 17, travel to Hawaii and drink Kona coffee. That's my main reason for going to Hawaii is the coffee. Number 18, Yellowstone Park. I don't know how that got on the list other than I think Bob wants to go to Yellowstone Park really badly. And I'm kind of scared of it because it's a caldera. Um... And, I mean, there's heat and bubbling everywhere, and anyway, it's kind of scary to me. Number 19. This is something I would be doing over in Europe. See the Bayou Tapestry. Number 20. See the recreation of the Bayou Tapestry. That's at two different museums. One is in the UK, and one is in France. Number 21. Whale watching. I don't even know if I'm interested in that anymore. Number 22, see the canyons in Utah. Number 23, go to Legoland. I mean the Legoland that's over in Europe, the original Legoland. Number 24, go to Universal Studios Orlando. And number 25, ride on a riverboat on the Mississippi. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, most of them are traveling so what do you have on your bucket list I would think that by now I'd have one of these done oh well I have to work on that so other than that what's going on well nothing much is going on it's the same old same old here in Pennsylvania still doing some crafting stuff Hopefully, I'll be to a point where I can show something on a video, and then I will give you the link for that when I do. But other than that, that's it. Well, Bob and I have been playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately, so we got that going on. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's all I got for you today. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!